Well, while the holiday season is often a time of excitement, some families may feel the stress of trying to put food on the table, as well as paying other bills and buying gifts. Cumberland Sarah McDonald explains how donating to Feeding South Dakota will be helping those in need. This truckload of food is a welcome sight at Feeding South Dakota. Thanks to Hy-Vee and its suppliers, this food will be in somebody's home just in time for the holidays. This is part of a greater initiative that Hy-Vee uh, has with uh, 17 other uh, Feeding America facilities. And, it, and so we're fortunate enough to be able to supply one of those uh, uh, trucks uh, to the Sioux Falls area Feeding South Dakota. The donation includes a variety of fruits, vegetables, meats and other food and supplies. It's product that's coming first run. This isn't product that's, uh, you know, getting a little short on its code and it needs to be moved. Um, this is stuff that these vendors to Hy-Vee are providing uh, right off of their production lines and, and donating uh, to this cause. This donation couldn't come at a better time, with Christmas being just over a week away. You know, Christmas time is always a busy time for us and for families. Is, is uh, you know, there's a couple factors they deal with uh, during the holidays, and one is it's winter time as well. You know, and, and well, because the weather's cold, you know, they have to have heat in their house, so they ha that's a utility bill they have to they have to pay. And, and then you add into that the Christmas holidays, and, and every family wants to be able to provide you know, gifts and presents and toys for their kids and their family. We're willing to step up and make sure that they have what they need, uh, especially during this time of year. And with everything going on, uh, we're here for uh, those that are here for us. In Sioux Falls, Sarah McDonald, Killalin News. And this donation is also important because Gaston says that the pandemic has also taken a toll on families this year.